Hey everybody, Devin from Dr. Garage here. It's been a while since I've done a video, or a video blog. Um, I've recently moved to South Carolina, so the garage is a little bit different than what you saw before up in Michigan. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing shorts and, and a t-shirt because it's like 60, 70 degrees. That's where it's been all day. It's been incredible. The weather here is quite a bit more forgiving than uh, Michigan. So, over the past couple of months, while I've been in the middle of relocating, I wasn't able to do a video. So what I did do was I asked a couple of viewers, um, or people, a couple of guys that follow my Facebook page, I said, okay, what kind of video would you like to see? So one of the options I had been thinking of was talking about scan tools. Um, more specifically, I've seen a couple of infomercials about um, companies selling these scan tools, and they kind of market in a way of, hey, look, you no longer have to pay these expensive diagnostic fees for the, to this technician or this shop that's going to rip you off because they're going to overcharge you and then they're not gonna, actually going to fix what's going on or whatever, okay? So what this essentially, what these infomercials are for, something like this, okay? This here is a Bluetooth scan tool. Um, it's an adapter for OBD2, which is 96 in newer vehicles, use this all the same kind of diagnostics. Um, so the reason why I want to bring this up is because I see this infomercial and I see it spreading bad information. I want to explain what a scan tool is and what it does so that way you understand what a technician is looking at or if you have one of these scan tools, you might be able to better use it yourself. Now, this could turn into a, a multi-part video series because I might get into a little more in-depth looking at different parameters or PIDs, um, but I, I want to start with the basics. So what a scan tool does is it's able to pull um, when you drop diagnostic trouble codes. So when you get a check engine light on, it pulls the diagnostic trouble codes uh, from your ECU or from your the computer that's in your car, right? So it can pull codes. Um, depending on what scan tool it is, it might give you a couple of here are some possible causes. Uh, but a good scan tool, what it'll do is it'll set the code. So if it's a misfire or it's a running rich or something like that, it'll actually allow you to view what's called the freeze frame data. So when a code sets, typically um, the, the computer in your car will actually take a snapshot of what was going on. So what a technician can do with the scan tools, he can pull that code, he can look at what was going on, um, look at different parameters or PIDs. Um, PID is an acronym for uh, you know, parameters or whatever, so you'll hear me reference PIDs um, in this video as well as others. So he'll look at a couple of PIDs um, from the freeze frame data, whether that's load, vehicle speed, engine speed, um, misfire, counter, uh, fuel trims, things like that, to help them diagnose what's actually going on with the vehicle. Okay, then what it'll do is it'll go out and test drive your vehicle while looking at these PIDs um, and duplicate the issue that caused the misfire. Okay, so these PIDs help him to narrow down what the possible causes are and then test each of those components. Um, so a scan tool is a great tool. That's what it is. It's not a replacement for a mechanic. It's not a replacement for a technician. It's not a replacement for diagnostics. It's not something that does all the diagnosing for you. You have to be able to know how to use it, okay? So I've used it um, as a technician. I've used it in my job working for OEMs. Um, I use it to work on my own car. So it's a great tool if you know what you're looking at. Um, it's very easy to get overwhelmed because the list of PIDs that it can show I mean, there's probably over a hundred different parameters you, you can look at. It's easy to get lost. So for the most part, for people who aren't as, um, aren't, aren't as experienced or don't have the knowledge um, that I do, the most use that you'll really get out of it is people pull codes, right? And you can go to any, any auto, well, pretty much, depending on where you live, you can go to any AutoZone, um, O'Reilly, Advance Auto, whatever your local, um, auto part store is and they can pull codes for you. Because it depends on where you live because I know there's a couple places where they don't allow that. So um, it, it's a great tool to have but it's not going to replace a technician. Um, that's all I kind of wanted to cover with you today is that uh, is that an OB2, OBD2 scan tool is a tool, that's it. Um, it's so that a technician can better diagnose your vehicle. It doesn't do the diagnostics for him. That's all I've got time for today. Um, I think I'll probably follow up this video over the next couple of months and do a little bit more in depth about scan tools. So if you want to learn about them and kind of see what they do, I figure what I'll do is I'll try and grab some, some screenshots of, uh, of the scan tool that I use. Um, 
like I said, it's just a regular OBD2 Bluetooth. You can buy it on Amazon and eBay for like 10 bucks. Uh, but I use an app called Torque. I actually pay for the Torque Pro app because it does a couple of extra things that are useful for me. Um, so I'll walk you through some of the stuff that I use it for and what it's good for, and that way maybe you can then use this scan tool to diagnose your vehicle. Thanks for watching.